We're going to show a couple of demos here on magnetic induction, a little different way using a local uh, lenses law. First of all, I have a stack of magnets here, and these are very powerful magnets. They are very strong. Look, I didn't bash myself in the head there. Okay, these actually have a pull force between 40, 60 pounds, something like that. Okay, and trying to get those apart, it's a good way to get a magnet bite, which is just a pinch in your skin, and you'll get a blood blister. Now we know that aluminum. Ow. Okay, we know a little, yeah, a little humor in there. Okay, yeah, we know that aluminum foil is not attracted to magnets. Okay, it's not a magnetic substance. Okay, so let's take these. Okay, and if we put this over the aluminum. Now, for teachers that try to do this demo, you'll notice that up above I have these I use the ring stands so I can adjust them. Now. I'm not sure if Hannah can see that or not, but they're not touching the aluminum down here. And it's not attractive because it's not flying up to attach. Okay? But watch what happens when I swing the magnet as a pendulum. I thought aluminum was not attracted to the magnets. Huh. However, we know from Lenz's law that as the magnets are moving, there is now a moving magnetic field. And moving magnetic field causes induced currents, which cause induced magnets, which oppose that changing magnetic field. So what's happening is that, let's imagine that's a north, well it makes a south in the, in the uh, aluminum, which causes it to move, because the, the induced magnetic field is indeed uh, attracting stop. Okay, one more thing, just to prove that it's not dragging on it. Remove this piece of paper, 